Good morning, this is Kurt Ness with Ness Brothers and I'm talking today about our 55 plus relocation services. Again, this is my expensive prop. Um, we've got a lot of things to kind of cover today. My son and their family, his family has gone on vacation. So at nine o'clock I have to run the sales meeting. So I want to kind of get uh, covering some things. First thing though, I have to start out and I have to, I'm looking for a paper. Oh well, sorry Nick. I have to make a correction from one of the previous uh, face uh, times that I did. I talked about our um, um, RLH uh, photography and I basically wanted to make sure, and I hope this works out, the website that you need to go to. Uh, back up. We'll get it there, yeah. And their motto is where well, we capture a place and time using real ex excellence. And we talked about them as far as a source for digital uh, photography, as far as taking your photos and digitizing them. And I wanted to make sure that I give you the uh, right uh, web page. So what we try to do is during these talks, I talk about how can we relieve, uh, reduce stress in, in people's uh, lives? And one way I feel is through education. I feel that uh, by educating people and creating a plan and then following through with that plan uh, can basically allow you to go from A to Z. And that's some of the things we talk about uh, in, our, in our services. But a quick uh, side note, I'm jumping all around. Last week, you remember, I was kind of tired because I stayed up and watched the Purdue game. Well, I did again this time, but it got over earlier. And the good thing is that Purdue won my alumni. So we're continuing on. So kind of recapping what we talked about last week as far as when I jumped off script. And I talked about you really can't talk people in to making a move. They have to come to that conclusion themselves and but I also said that uh, on these videos it's going to be a work in progress and uh, I'm going to change the topic this week and I'm going to be actually talking the next several weeks on a subject that has come up a lot in my years of business and that is dealing with hoarding and the definition of to hoard is basically, i got to read it over here, to accumulate for preservation, future use, etc., in a hidden or carefully guarded place. Now, we've all heard of hoarders. There are videos or TV shows out about hoarders. Um, but the question becomes, what happens if you know somebody that's a hoarder or your significant other is a hoarder or... Um, just your neighbor is, is a hoarder. And as I researched it, there are a variety of different topics on hoarding. There's actually five different levels of hoarding that we're going to talk about in the future. Uh, we're going to talk about hoarding itself. When we, you know, I gave you the definition. Uh, statistics show that uh, approximately up to 5% of the population are hoarders. Now, hoarding doesn't become an issue until a person's safety or health uh, becomes an issue, or obviously if neighbors are complaining about the amount of accumulation on the outside of, of a property. And so when you're dealing with hoarders, it, it is an emotional um, situation for them, and you just can't go in and start throwing things out. I've had the scenario that I've been called in by a spouse and the um, the other spouse uh, was the way they hoarded is they would go out on uh, the internet and they just started buying model cars I mean they had rooms upon rooms of model cars and she called me in because she said I need to liquidate we need to move forward what can we do? Well, unfortunately, as I started looking at all these model cars, and I'm not trying to downgrade this country, but 
they all came from China, and this person had paid fifty to seventy-five dollars for these cars, cars, trucks, you name it. And I went out and I researched, and I said, "I'm sorry, but there's little to no value." in this collection. So some people think that use the camouflage as far as saying, well, this is a collection, where in essence it might not be, it might be a lot deeper than a collection. It could be bordering or actually could, uh, it could be hoarders. And so I'm not trying to give a bad name to it. Uh, it is uh, the uh, psychiatric, uh, a division out there recognizes it as a illness and I think that we need to treat it like that and so we need to when working with people go very gentle and, and there is a process and we're going to talk about that as far as uh, how to treat uh, horrors uh, um, and uh, one other uh, topic that I thought was very interesting that hoarding can run in families so that's what I'm going to be talking about the, the following weeks I also encourage you to share these videos. And again, if you go to our 55 plus uh, relocation services, which is at nestrose.com, you'll see I've got a tab now. I'm trying to get a little more organized. And we've got all the videos with the headings of each video. And the videos are like five to seven minutes. If you have a topic that you would like me to discuss, I'll be happy to research it. Email me at kurt at and uh, I will dive into it. Thank you. Everybody have a great day, and go Purdue.